Good day everybody and welcome to this brand new segment on that YouTube called Top 10. Why we're doing the top 10 is because one of my biggest passions in life is music and a little bit more specifically Christian music. So I just thought there's definitely um, a lot of times people ask me, you know, what's your favorite band, what's your favorite album, what's your favorite worship this or Christian rock that or this or that. And I thought um, just from my perspective, just from my own personal point of view, I'm going to share my top 10 in Christian albums, whether it be worship, rock, this, that. So this is not global charts, this is not anything like that, this is just top 10 for Daddy Tube. Um, so also, I'm going to give you 10 albums and it doesn't mean that number 1 is the best, number 10 is the worst, in that it's just the top 10 albums in every category. So here we go. So today we're going to be looking at Christian worship album. And this is a very saturated market at the moment and there is heaps of bands and albums and just coming through the whole time. So these names I'm going to be giving you is definitely my top 10, but it doesn't mean there's not others that's also just as good or something like that. Remember when I give you the stuff, when I give you the names and the albums and you think there's bands I'm missing, comment down below and tell me if I know them, I would maybe do another show on them. If I don't know them, I would love to go listen to them. The first album I want to look at today in at number 10 is Desperation Band with Everyone Overcome. It's not a new album, it came out about 10 years ago, but it has some of the most amazing worship tracks on you'll ever find. Um, it's a live worship album, but what I love about it is you just see the whole time how the, or you not even see, you just hear the whole time how the crowd and how the band just, it's, it was this experience they had at a worship event and it was just something to, and, to listen to something to experience and I've listened to it all these years and it's definitely one of my best it's one of the best albums I've ever heard so in at number 10 is Desperation Man with Everyone Overcome coming in at number 9 we have one of my favorite artists of all time it's Michael Gungle Band now if you know Michael Gungle Band you know the style of music they make if you don't know the band I definitely advise you to go and just do some research and just get yourself some of, of it's actually him and his wife, Michael and Lisa Gungo, but they've got a whole band and, and they're just they're amazing musicians. They, what you can see on the music videos and stuff, looks like these guys can play any instrument and they just, they, their passion, their life, their hearts is music, you know. So they love doing this. So the album I want to focus on today is Ancient Skies. It's an amazing album. It's a very deep album. It's about... Um, us worshiping God and how God reacts to that and stuff like that, but it's a very 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 good album Then of course coming in at number eight we have need to breathe For those of you who know need to breathe they're definitely not reckoned in the worship segment They are alternative band, but I have to just highlight this one album today That's need to breathe with rivers in the wasteland There's some tracks on there like difference maker and stuff like that that is just out of this world it is absolutely amazing music and i've always been a very big need to breathe fan and coming in number eight is need to breathe with rivers in the wasteland coming in on number seven is david carter with remedy now this album i've been listening to since the, literally the week it came out and i've never stopped i think it's one of the most heartfelt albums ever it's one of those albums where you can really hear the artist is just expressing himself to God. He's just giving himself over. He's just saying, listen, God, this is me. I'm here to worship, you know. And the whole album is just about how in God we have our victory and how in God everything is glorious, you know. Remedy is one of the best albums I've ever heard. Yeah. And literally what it says is Jesus is the remedy. I love, I love, I love David Crowder. Um, yeah, so awesome band, awesome music. Go get yourself that album. Coming in number six is probably the most well-known worship band of all time. It's Hillsong United with All of the Above. Why I chose that album, and I think we can probably do 10, 20, 30, 40 albums just on Hillsong's top worship albums, but it's Hillsong United with All of the Above. And why I chose this one is, it was at a time where Hillsong, and I mean they still are, but when they were just 
they they beat everywhere. Everybody knew about them. The albums just hit uh, number one everywhere, and everybody just wanted to listen to Hillsong. All the churches were doing Hillsong, and this album came out, all of the above, and it literally just you know, it's. It, it speaks to us as Christians and it says that no matter where we are, no matter what we do, it's always about Jesus, you know. There's a couple of hits on this on the album like Hosanna and stuff like that. And it's just one of those albums where you can just pop it in and you can just literally, whether you know the words or not, you can just worship God. You can just give over and just enjoy God and just enjoy His presence and just enjoy this good music. So that is why. Uh, at number six is Hillsong Unite with all of the above. Another album I definitely want to highlight and it's coming in at number five today. It's Jake Hamilton with Freedom Calling. Now, Jake Hamilton, the first time I heard him was on a Jesus Culture album and he did one of the tracks. And this guy had this like this very rock feeling, this 80s rock, this, this deep throat and heavy guitars. And I'm just like, wow, I like this, man. And I went and got some of his albums that was out at the moment and it is also a live worship event and but it is one of the best worship albums I've ever heard it, it, it was well produced the musicians is very skilled in their playing it, the crowd interacted and it's just an amazing worship album so it is a bit louder worship it's not the traditional soft worship it's just a bit louder it's just a bit harder but it is really something so for somebody that's definitely into a little bit more of the rock scene and you are looking for uh, worship or something to worship God on, I definitely recommend Jake Hamilton with Freedom Calling. Next up we have one of the classic bands of all time. It is hilarious with Now Is The Time. You know, I think it's such a relevant album no matter when it was made or even today or in 10 or 20 years from now. The album is literally what it stands for. It's now is the time, you know, wherever you are in your Christian life, whatever you're doing, it's now the time to worship God, you know. And that is why I chose this album. It is, there's some, sh there's some, there's some songs on this album that just blow your mind. Stuff like Take Off My Shoes and We're Gonna Paint The Town Red and Now Is The Time and stuff like that. Amazing album. I've always been a big fan of Delirious and Martin Smith and the guys, well done. This is still one of the best worship albums of all time. And I think if you are in a band or you want to start a band and you want a point of referral to about worship music, I would say this is the album. It's got something of everything in, but most of all, it's about God. It's worshiping God and, there's, and the rest is just part of it, if I can put it like that. So now is the time, hilarious. Coming in at number three, we have Red Walker Band with Come to the River. Now yet again, this is not a traditional worship album. It's not done in a church, there's no crowd. This is like Southern type of music, but this music is definitely something deep. It's about people, wherever you are in life, whether you be a Christian or non-Christian, or if you've been a Christian for a day or for a hundred years or whatever, this, this album is about people coming to God, come to the river, you know, and uh, it's amazing. I'm not, normally I'm not very big on all the southern music, but I have to say Red Walker Band, amazing band, amazing album. I love it. It's one of my favorite albums and it's in, it's in our, one of our CD players still and um, I can definitely recommend Red Walker Band. Coming in at number two today, we have Sons of Life with We Will Fly. Now Sons of Life is a local South African band and I've been working with them for a couple of years but why I like their music and, and not just because I've been working with them but why I really love this album is because of the, the quality of this album. Um, this album is definitely one of the best produced albums I've ever heard and it was recorded in front of a live audience with over a thousand people and uh, we actually had Jake Hamilton, he features on the album so this album is definitely for a South African band and for African band, I want to say this is one of the best I've ever heard and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's actually the church I worship at and this album is definitely, you can still get it on iTunes and stuff and I definitely advise you to go and get the album Sons of Life, We Will Fly, it will blow you away, the quality of the worship, the guitars, the piano, the drums, um, all the extra instruments, the, 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 the vocalists, everything in this album is just one of that stuff that 
we call out to God and we love God and our whole life is about you Lord and there's a little bit of everything on for different genres there's a little bit for the slower guys the faster the harder the softer there's a little bit for everybody music on this one album one of the, my all-time favorite worship albums Sons of Life we will fly and then of course the moment you've all been, been waiting for but before we get to number one, I definitely want to ask you if I ran through all these albums and you were thinking about your favorite album or favorite artist and I didn't mention them today, please forgive me. There is still a lot of bands that still has amazing worship music. I literally just chose my favorite 10 or my top 10 at this moment where I am. Um, so please comment down below and tell me what is your favorite albums if I missed any. And if I get enough albums and I think it's really good music, I will maybe make a part two or whatever about Christian worship albums. So comment down below and tell me what do you think about your music. Coming in at number one, of course, is one of the bands I've never stopped listening to. Never ever ever stopped listening to. It's Worth Dying For with Love Riot. Now Worth Dying For is definitely not one of the most famous bands of all time and I've, I've actually not heard a lot of people even speak about them and if you go search for them on social media they're not even one of the biggest, uh, biggest followings or anything. But this album Love Riot, it is beyond, beyond good. Um, they bring in some guest stars like uh, Trevor from Thousand for Crutch, they bring in Henry Seeley from Planet Shakers, but this album it's really good and it's li li literally what it says, it's about a love right, it's about how the Bible says that God is love and love overcomes everything and, and if there's this love right that nothing can stand up against us as Christians because love will conquer all. So definitely go and get worth dying for um, because me and you, we were worth dying for. Uh, maybe not in our eyes, but in the eyes of God, we were worth dying for. That's why he sent his son and that's why they brought out this album called Love Right. Amazing album. I love it and that's why it's number one today here on Daddy Tube. So thank you guys for watching this episode. That is my top 10 Christian worship albums. Like I said before, um, if there's any album you think I missed, please comment down below and tell me the album. I would love to go listen to some albums and I definitely don't know all the artists. This is just my top 10 that I love. And um, yeah, we're going to do a lot more like this. So comment down below. Tell me about your favorite album, Christian worship album. And then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can do more of these videos because we love to just motivate, uplift, and inspire you guys. Have a great day and thank you for watching DaddyTube. Bye-bye.